Hello and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 weekly playthrough. Um, as requested, this week I'm going to be doing the Dance of Dragons, which for those who watch the show you might not be familiar about. I think they only mentioned it like once. Um, basically it's a war uh, a couple hundred years before Game of Thrones starts where uh, the Targaryens were having a, su a succession uh, war and so each side had their own dragons and they danced. Um, uh, by that I mean fighting, they did not do the polka. Uh, they did not have a dance off. Um, but I'm going to be playing as Rhaenyra. Uh, a little quick backstory: um, the person I'm playing as is actually her father, who was the king. Said, oh, basically his entire life that Rhaenyra sh was his heir, and that he wanted no one but Rhaenyra to be his heir. Um, but even still, when he died, Aegon II, uh, one of his other kids, uh, decided the throne should be his because he was a for banners and called her allies to help her. Um, so the sides that are fighting in this civil war, um, I've got most of the Lord Paramounts, the Starks and the Greyjoys are helping me, as well as a bunch of these uh, minor lords, although he does have a couple of the Free Cities and the Westerlands. Um, so that is, uh, and he's got the Red Wains and a couple powerful Reach Houses too. But we all have dragons, so that's what it's going to come down to, is who wins those dragon battles. So this is my main host right here. Uh, let's see who my good generals are, let's see who I can put in charge of this. Uh, but let's go somewhere I can siege first. Let's just try marching down here. Alright, so I'm going to put myself at the head of the command. So that way I can use my own dragons. And I believe I have a couple dragon... Yeah, everyone here is a dragon rider. So I can use all of them. Nettles is pretty cool because she's a low-born girl who actually tamed one of the dragons. Uh, Sheep Stealer, I think it was called. Um, if you're wondering how I know so much about all this shit, it's because I just read The World of Ice and Fire a couple weeks ago. So I actually know the, the backstory of this war pretty well. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to see if I have any other troops I can raise. I do not, but hopefully my allies can get here pretty quickly. I'm going to set my ambition really quickly here uh, to win the war, uh, just because that's an easy one, and it gets my marshal up if I do win. Uh, so I've got several kids here. Another part of the backstory, uh, my husband here, um, Damon, uh, is my uncle, actually, and he's also my husband. And uh, these, I have a couple kids who are Valyrians, who are most likely, according to the World of Ice and Fire, bastards. Uh, but Aegon here, Aegon III, he eventually becomes the king in the actual history. Uh, and he is a true blood Targaryen with uh, my uncle, who married me. So, hopefully that's the last time I ever say that sentence in my life. And we're continuing. Alright, so yeah, this is just an event saying that... Uh... Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna send a, an envoy to the Baratheons and see what happens there. So nice, I got a lot of allies here in the Crown Land, so that is gonna help me immensely. Also, the Aarons are marching for me, so hopefully they can get their shit together, too. And, alright, let's see what happened with the first dance. Alright, so Vagar killed Arax, so that's not great for me. Because Aemond One-Eye is the person who flies uh, Vagar. I, I believe I'm correct on that. Um, Vagar is one of the original three dragons who conquered Westeros. Um... So I got a solid host here of, uh, of 10,000. That should be more than enough unless I, you know, find another dragon to dance with. I'm going to go right for King's Landing. That's my goal here. Although in the lore of this actual war, uh, the lore of the war, um, Rhaenyra took King's Landing and lost the war anyway because King's Landing got sacked before uh, any help could arrive and she got fed to a dragon. So, <laughs> I mean, already last game when I played as Joffrey, I got fed to a dragon once. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. All right, uh... Alright, yeah, I gotta train my son, so that means I gotta take out a loan, probably. A war loan. I usually, whenever I'm at war in this game, I usually end up taking out a war loan from the Iron Bank. 50 gold for a... Oh, that's weak. I'm the rightful queen. 50 gold. That's peasant money. Alright, so most of the enemy troops are over here on Dragonstone, which, if they can take that, might help them. I mean, that is technically my capital, but I'm, I'm not there, so they're not gonna capture me, which is really what they need. Uh, oh, nice, Joffrey Valerion is a, uh, a ruthless bastard. Uh, but yeah, so last game I got fed to a dragon, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen again this time. I've uh, I've had enough of the dragon's gullet. Alright, so another dragon dance. It looks like uh, my husband, Daemon Targaryen, rider of Seraxes, and, and Ulf White, rider of Silverwing, met in fierce combat. And Ulf and Silver... Oh, God damn it, another dance I lost. So this is not going well for me so far. Two dragons have been killed. Or at least wounded. I didn't see if they were killed. Um, alright, so... Oh, nice, I rescued my son. Hell yeah. Small victories. And, holy shit, did I just win the war? Did I just win the fucking war? Hold on. 
Sure as shit, I just won the war. That was the quickest dance with dragons I have ever done. That was incredible. Well, I not guess who's not getting eaten by a dragon today, folks? Not me. Not this bitch. Not this bitch. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, I got all the dragons back, too. This 180-year-old fucking grandma. Nice one. Hell, motherfucking yeah. Wow. That went extremely well. That is the opposite of my last playthrough. <laughs> oh, man. So let's see what happens to the traitors. Peak, I'll leave him. Horus Redwayne, I'll leave him. Oh, all, the, all these Targaryens are fucked. I'm executing every single one of them. My cat is playing with a bag from behind me, if you uh, are wondering what that noise is. Alright, so I'm executing all of these uh, traitors. Aemon Targaryen is dead. Vagar is now flying around Dragonstone, loose. Oh, and I got the sword Blackfire back. Oh, no, uh, sweet Dark Sister. Nice. So I have two Valyrian swords now, I think. Um, oh, you bet your ass I'm feeding them all to my dragon. Oh, you bet your ass they are all getting fed to my dragon. Let each one be devoured, yes. Yes. Oh, man, this dragon's gonna throw up. <laughs> He's eating so many people. Oh, who is this? My husband? Oh, I didn't even realize I executed my husband. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, whatever, I can let a dragon eat him, too. Oh, Aemon One-Eye? Oh, uh, yeah, how about I let my dragon devour him and her? Um, I'll leave this guy. Pounce, quit playing with that bag. You're being a noisy bitch. That is my cat. His name is Sir Pounce after Game of Thrones, <laughs> if, if you're into that. Uh, I hate Game of Thrones, actually. Hey, I'm recording something, you dumb cat. Knock it off. All right, so I'm going to spare everyone except those Targaryens, but holy shit, did I just lay down the fucking law. Oh my god, that dragon feasted. Hey, of course, what's one more Targaryen to feed? So let's take a look at everyone who just got fed to my dragon. These four people, my brothers and sisters, all fed to dragons. The only one who wasn't was this one who died stillborn. My own husband got fed to a dragon, so I can remarry. Uh, Cregan Stark, oh, you bet your motherfucking ass. Oh, he won't do it, Matron Lindley. Oh, sorry. Cregan Stark is a badass, if you don't know who that is. He is a fucking G in this game. In the in the lore, he came down uh, after Rhaenyra got executed and fed to the dragon. He came down and uh, executed all the people who assassinated her and then left. <laughs> he was handed the king for about an hour. They call that the Hour of the Wolf. So, wow. So, yeah, I executed all of them. And then all of his kids were eaten by a dragon. So that, man, that dragon ate well. <laughs> so this might be my shortest playthrough of, of the entire game. I'm going to let it run a little bit just to see what the consequences were for this. Uh, random people are now riding dragons and taming them. Uh, this guy, this random club-footed, hair-lipped fuck, J-Car, just tamed a dragon. So if I kept playing this, which I probably won't, um, just because it's boring at peacetime when you're a king. Because uh, usually in this game, uh, when you're at peace, that's the time for high lords and you know even paramounts to try to move up in the world by securing marriages and whatnot. But as a king, I basically have everything to lose. I mean, I could call a dragon conquest on like the free cities if I wanted to. Um, but, you know, fuck that. So I am now the queen of... I can move my capital here to King's Landing, obviously. That's what I want to do. Just so I can say that I ruled. So that is my shortest playthrough of this game so far. Um, I won the war, fed everyone, including my husband, who did nothing wrong. I don't, I, he, I guess he, lo he lost battles for me, so that's what he did wrong. He fucked up. <laughs> so I fed everyone in my family two dragons, which is the ultimate revenge of Renera's ghost. So I hope you enjoyed the very brief dance with dragons. Uh, it was the briefest of dances, but it was fun. So uh, join me next week. I don't know if I decided who I'm playing with next week. Oh, yeah, next week I'm playing as the Greyjoys because next week is my birthday, so I'm playing as my favorite house, which is the Greyjoys. So join me next time. Uh, the Queen Rhaenyra, the dragon feeder, is going to be retired with her two Valyrian swords. I'd say I did pretty fucking well. So join me next week. We do not sew.